Drugstore dupe videos are some of my very favorite videos to bring to you because I'm in love with drugstore makeup. I realize that there is not everything that can be duped, but man, there are some really darn good ones and I've got some really darn good ones for you today. Let's get into the dupes that I found for you. By the way, in my last video, I talked about somebody saying that they didn't appreciate me doing dupes videos so often. And so many of you commented and said, who doesn't like a good dupe video? That's how my feeling is on it. That's why I'm always on the hunt. And if it's not an exact dupe, I'm gonna tell you that, that it's like really dang darn close and you probably couldn't tell the difference on your face. So just keep that in mind when I'm talking about dupes, I'll make sure that you know texture, feel, all of that, staying power, all of that. But in the long run, I do really feel like they're really good dupes. All right, let's start out with the Derma Dermatologica. This is the exfoliating powder. If you guys have seen this, this is actually quite innovative what they originally did. It just comes out as a powder and it basically, yeah, comes out a lot. It basically is just a powder that you put water in and you make a paste and then you can exfoliate your face with it. And the granules that are in it, they will dissipate as you're rubbing it in. So they're not harsh. They're not things that are going to continue to be abrasive on your skin. It's just something that kind of melts away. And I just, when I originally found it, I thought that's really cool. One thing I will say, has a weird funky smell to it. It's not a bad smell, it's just a different smell. What I found was the Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. Same thing, only I like this one a little bit better. I like the fact that it uses fruit enzymes. Um, it does come out almost identical to that one. It might be just a little bit more grainy or a little bit more coarse than the Dermatological one can't say that very easily, <laughs> but it is really close. It dissipates with water just like that one does. Gives you a really good exfoliating. You just have to rinse it off really well. I like it a lot. And the fact that you can get it so much cheaper than the Dermatologica one is just a bonus for me. And I love Good Molecules anyway. If you've been around my channel for very long, you know that Good Molecules is one of my favorite skincare brands. Let's move on with this powder from Fenty Beauty. This is one of her loose powders and this is in the color lavender. You probably won't be able to see it that well right here on screen. This is a powder that brightens your skin and gives you more of a lightened look to your skin. I love it. This powder itself is very finely milled. It's just super airy. It is one of those powders that as you feel it, it just feels like silk between the fingers. It is so good. I have loved it. I enjoyed it. I actually learned about it on Emily Noel's channel and I went out and I got it immediately. But then I started to get into Can Make on Amazon. They sell on Amazon and I found their compact that is the lavender one. Now, as you can see here, let me open up the Fenty one again. As you can see here, this one from Can Make looks quite a bit more lavender than the one from Fenty Beauty. So you're going to see it a little bit more. It's gonna be a little bit more brightening. I love this. I feel like it's not as airy as the Fenty. So this is a little bit better for somebody that is more along the lines of combo to dry skin. It's gonna be a little bit creamier. I think it's a fantastic powder. I would choose this over the Fenty one every day of the week because of my skin type. So if you're somebody that's very oily, I bet you're gonna love the Fenty one, but if you're somebody that is combo too dry, you might really like this one a lot better. And I, I think the packaging is so cute and so pretty, and it's got all this embossing on it. It just looks very high-end and very luxe, but the product inside is really the star of the show, and I love it. I have two products that I wanna show you from Nabla. Nabla is a cosmetics company that came a year or two ago, it came to Ulta, and this one is the Skin Bronzing. They're a little bit more on the stiff side, and when you're looking at a bronzing, I don't wanna go in with a ton of bronze at once, because then you're gonna you know, get too much orange, you're gonna get too much warmth, but I do like this one because it can substitute as a contour as well. It is not 
too orange and it's not too cool it is a very neutral bronzing color um this one is called soft revenge i don't think i said that but what i like about it and i am wearing this one as my contour and to warm up my face today as my bronzer what i like about it is that it's buildable you can start out really small with it and then you can just continue to build and build and build until you have it where you want it to be and it can be as dark as what's in the pan it is a bit more stiff it's not super soft it's not super buttery i like that about it because when i'm looking at a contour again or a bronzer i don't want it to go in and be so much that i'm having to go back in with my foundation or a powder and buff it out more i want to be able to build it up and buff it itself i did actually use this as the contour around my lips today too which is the tutorial i did right before this video and i will make sure i link that for you now when i was looking at that i'm like what would i substitute for that because i really do like it you can tell that i have a pretty darn good divot in there it has nabla as the logo on there as an imprint well i really like the essence contour duo duo and this one is in the light to medium skinned one this one is a bit more buttery so you are going to have to be a little bit more careful not get as much on your brush but i am wearing it on this side of my face whereas i wore the high-end nabla one on this side of my face it is a pretty color it builds up to be a beautiful color on your skin you can see how it is not exactly the nabla has a little bit more warmth to it but i actually like this one a little bit better because it does have a little bit more of that neutral cool tone to it so when i'm using it and i want something that is more cool toned it fits the bill it's so weird because when you're looking at them like this this one looks like the warm one and the nabla looks like the cool one and it's on the skin it's completely the opposite but the formula on these is very much the same little bit softer in the essence contour palette but i've had so many of you ask me is there a drugstore option for something that is a combo of a bronzer and a contour and this is what i grab every single time this is very inexpensive and they do have it in a medium to dark skin tone too so i think that that's really great about it you can get that one if you are deeper skin tone i like them both very much but i do reach for the essence a little bit more both have great staying power. Both have that same property of being able to blend really well. I really love both of them. But I think in the long run, the Essence one is going to win out for me because of its cost effectiveness and its ability to blend with just a little bit more ease. The second Nabla product that I want to show you is their Skin Glazing. This one, I think that I found this one on a 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. And this is a little bit softer formula than the bronzer. It is a beaming highlight. It is gorgeous. I really, really like this highlight. It's one of those ones that I feel like is so pretty under blush. I did put it on this side. It's beautiful under blush. It shows up under blush. It is just a gorgeous highlight without any glitter, without any texture. And yeah, it's gorgeous. Ozone is the color. I don't know if I said that or not. And this one from Catrice is the dupe for it. I do feel like this one is every bit as soft and nice and buttery and no sparkle, no glitter, no chunks in it whatsoever. This one is called More Than a Glow Highlighter, and the color is Supreme Rose Beam. This one, I don't even think that they have a couple colors in this. Maybe they do. I, I'll have to look that up, but it is so pretty. They're so close. You can't even tell where one starts and one ends. They're just gorgeous on those they are really really pretty now there might be a tiny bit more rose in this but on your skin like i have it underneath my blush on this side and then i have nabla on this side you can't tell the difference in them at all the formula is exactly the same and the texture is exactly the same of them and, and the wear time and staying power so good on both of them but you're saving a ton of money with the catrice in a video very recently i was raving about how beautiful the mac glow play blushes are they're like a bouncy formula that is a cream formula and the texture is just so different than anything that i've ever used before and i was saying that this isn't dupable yet but your girl found a dupe and i had to bring it to you i was looking on amazon i don't even remember remember what i was looking at but i was like oh my goodness that looks like it when i got it i was like 
Okay, I found it. Okay, this is the Glow Play Blush and Blush Please. That is what the MAC one is. And I will go ahead and swatch that one for you. All right, this texture is bouncy, creamy, pretty texture. Goes on your cheeks, hugs your cheeks. It dries down to almost a powder that just is really hugging on your cheeks. I found this one and this is Juicy Pang and this one is in the color. Let me see here Jelly Blusher RD01. I don't know what that is exactly. You can tell that this pan is a little bit smaller but this formula is it's exact. I can stick my finger in there. I feel it exact The blush is just a little bit more on the peach side So the blush peak please does have a tiny bit more rose in it But again, you can't tell the difference I have the blush please from Mac on this side and then I have this one from juicy Pang on this side They are so pretty. I think that they are like this next level beauties that you just can't go wrong with and they're so easy to apply I don't normally put them on with my fingers, but boy you can because they are that easy That is just tapping in just a little bit of the juicy pang and then i'll do the same thing with the mac on this other side They are just so easy to work with it is just nothing to be able to put that across your cheeks and enhance your cheeks I love them. I think they're fantastic. I'm so glad that I found it. Like I said, there is a little bit less in this one, but the cost is just crazy. And of course, I will make sure I throw that up on the screen as I always do. Now for the last one, you probably already guessed because I've been kind of building you guys up to this. The Becca Light Shifter Finishing Veil, and this is in one. Um, scattering is the color, and it's in one. This powder... Really honestly truly i'm giving you a substitute for it. This is not an exact dupe what i'm going to be showing you Just because I feel like this powder is something different than anything i've ever seen This is light and airy be like times 50 you can see that it is on the skin right there But when i'm putting it on with a brush, it gives the most beautiful finish It's airbrushed perfected and it doesn't ever look cakey Ever. It doesn't matter how much of this I put on It's just going to look like my skin has this gorgeous filter veil on it And I love it and i've been talking about it ever since I got it like what? Four months ago six months ago something like that I've been saying that i'm just sad that becca is going out of business because he can't get anymore So i've been gobbling up every bit I could and hoarding extras because I don't want to run out of this But I knew that I needed to find a dupe for everyone because this is not inexpensive It's been very expensive 34 dollars went on sale for half off even at 17 It is a bit expensive, but I think that I found one that you can substitute and again I'm gonna say a substitute not a dead on dupe and it is the elf sheer tint finishing powder This one I have is in fair light This is very very close. I can feel on it that it feels just like it The only difference is you can get too much of this on when you're putting it on with a brush Whereas the becca one I don't feel like I ever get too much But this one doesn't have that little bit of light catching property either What I would say is that get a color that's just a tiny bit lighter if you're wanting that little bit of light effect from it What i'm going to do right now is i'm going to just show you and i'm using one side of this brush And i'm just going to show you how it will take down the shine and perfect It's beautiful as far as what you want it to do. It's one of those powders that just looks gorgeous on it really does a great job of really hiding any imperfections and blurring out it doesn't feel super heavy on my skin i love that about it and then i'll show you what the other side does with the becca and i'll turn that brush over so we can use the other side and the becca will still show a bit of light you will see that but i do feel like for the price and for the texture of it it is beautiful the the elf one It is one that I do feel like you can substitute in here and be just as happy with it I think that the only drawback is that you can't go in with a really heavy hand Which if you're an aging woman you want to go in with a light hand anyway And I don't think that there's any way that you could tell the difference in the two sides of my face I was so so excited to be able to bring that one to you All right last thing is a lipstick from urban decay and I don't know if urban decay is changing their lipstick formula 
I have loved this vice formula. I've loved the bullets. I've loved everything about it. I hope that they're not discontinuing it, but this one is in peyote and it's a cream. I love this. It is just one of those nude colors that is pink enough for me to be able to wear with any liner and it doesn't pull orange or pull super peach, but it looks very nude on my lips and I love that about it. It's one that I've had a couple of sticks of, but when I showed this in my video last time, this one is Nude Lust from Maybelline. When I showed this, I'm like, I wonder if that's a dupe and it's like well, they're pretty darn close The only difference is you're seeing that nude lust has quite a bit more sheen than peyote does So peyote will look, will look a little bit deeper, but honestly right here You can't tell the difference and again we did peyote or I'm sorry We did nude lust on this side and then I did peyote on the other side and you cannot tell the difference between the two they are so close to the same and yeah, I definitely wanted to be bringing that one to you Buy this not that it saves you some money and the great thing about it is when they go on amazon They're even cheaper. I love that about them. Thank you so much for being with me today Hope you did enjoy seeing the dupes video. Please give it a thumbs up Have you seen any dupes lately or do you know of any dupes that are really good? I would love to hear that from you in the comment section Take care of yourself, stay happy, stay healthy, stay cool. It is hotter than blue blazes. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Love you, friends. Bye-bye.